Kicking off the list at number 10, Sky Eye 2022. In a list of scandalous signals, we gotta start off with a recent Sky Eye observation. Yeah, just a couple of weeks ago, China's Sky Eye telescope picked up what they believed were signs of alien civilizations. Just out there, just in the great beyond. Science and Technology Daily posted about this, and then they deleted the post. I'm sorry, what? Why, mm, what? The report cited chief scientist of extraterrestrial civilizations, Zhang Tanji, the same team that is co-founded by the National Astronomical Observatory of the Chinese Academy of Science and the University of California, Berkeley. So, AKA, the real deal. The sky eye, I mean, first of all, it's massive. It has a diameter of 500 meters. And there were two signals in 2020 that were detected, and then another one in 2022 on June 14th. Super recent. Do you believe we're alone in the universe? Or are these signals coming from the same place. Just maybe us, but over there. Sound off below. I don't know. I kind of believe in aliens. Moving on to number nine, we have the wow signal. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then smash that like button because it really helps us out. Also, don't know what that was, but hit the like button for me. Thanks. On the night of August 15th, 1977, an Ohio State University radio telescope received a quite fascinating signal. The signal lasted 72 seconds and it was intense. More intense than anything in the sky that night. Now the signal did not repeat, and over the years, people have tried to find it again, but all attempts have failed. It was like a one-off. The signal is said to have come from deep space, in an area that is relatively free of noise from other objects. Now it was given the name the WOW signal because when reviewing the data, Jerry Amen was so shocked by it that he wrote WOW next to it. Still to this day, we have no clue what caused the signal, but it was pretty significant. Wow. Owen Wilson, wow. Moving on to number eight, we have the Soyuz 11. On June 6, 1971, three Soviet cosmonauts launched into space. Their goal was to make a record for the longest time spent in space. Sadly, the mission failed and they became the first people to die in space. While in space, their breathing ventilation valve ruptured. All three sadly died from decompression. The last message they sent to Earth was them trying to scream for help, but they couldn't. So all they heard was them gasping for air and then weird popping sounds, which is from the air in their lungs expanding from the drop in air pressure and being exposed to the vacuum of space. The worst part? The spacecraft survived re-entry into Earth and landed perfectly. But when the hatch was open, they found the dead crew inside. Their faces filled with dark blue splotches and blood dripping from their ears and noses. Moving on to number 7, we have the 13 signals. Back in 2019, the Chime Observatory in British Columbia, Canada picked up a very strange signal. They observed 13 of the same signals. These are what they call FRBs, or fast radio bursts. You're probably like, Psh, okay, what's the big deal? Well, all of the 13 bursts came from the same location and they were 1.5 billion light years from Earth. And detecting that is super uncommon. It's only been seen once before. So 13 at the same location and time, that's suspicious. A number of people think that it was someone or something signaling for help. Could it be life on another planet? Aliens? Who knows? In our sixth spot today, we have the pattern. This next signal is pretty terrifying and that's because it appears like clockwork. So basically the signal will chime for four days, then after the fourth day, it stops making that weird noise. It stops for 12 days before picking up again and doing the same thing over and over again. It's thought that maybe on the days where it's not sending a signal towards us, it's actually sending a signal in another direction. Some believe that this is coming from aliens or other life forms. Whereas others think that it's a star sending out radio waves and then orbiting by something that could be blocking the signal for 12 days and then returning to a position where we can hear it. It's just incredibly mysterious and we don't know what to make of it. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the mysterious flashes. Another very strange and mysterious signal that we have yet to figure out. So astronomers have detected a signal that will beam to Earth for 90 days before being silent for 67 days. They noticed that this pattern would repeat every 157 days. Its cycle is that precise. The signal is being sent from a distant galaxy and this pattern has been happening since 2016. Furthermore, the signal is quite strong. It unleashes as much energy as our sun does in a century, in just a few milliseconds. Like what the actual hell is going on? 
Theory goes that aliens have created a powerful machine that has the capability of sending out this strong signal, but then it needs 157 days to recharge itself before continuing on. But who knows? In our fourth spot today, we have the eerie sounds. This is quite possibly one of the creepiest things I have ever heard. So NASA decided to gather all of the creepy sounds that they have ever heard and put it all together on SoundCloud for us to enjoy. It literally sounds like aliens communicating with each other or something like that. NASA refers to these sounds as moans and whistles from the universe. Isn't that just great? Moving on to number three, we have the pulse of radio waves. Just recently on April 28th, 2020, two telescopes detected an intense pulse of radio waves. Now the signal only lasted for a millisecond, but astronomers were blown away by this and said it's a major discovery. Why? Well, this is the first time a fast radio burst has ever been detected so close to Earth. The signal came from the Milky Way. In fact, Chime wasn't even looking for it, but it was so loud and clear that they caught it anyways. They said that this burst is helping them discover what these things are and where they're coming from. Maybe we'll find out if there's aliens out there sooner than we thought. Moving on to number two, we have the lost cosmonaut. A lot of people refer to this next story as an urban legend, but with the facts I'm about to provide you with, it might just change your mind. So legend goes that back in the 1950s to 60s, two brothers were working as amateur radio operators. One day they were listening in on space when they heard what sounded like a cosmonaut returning to Earth's orbit. They managed to record her final moments. Her spacecraft was malfunctioning and in the recording the woman speaking in Russian is pleading for help, saying it's getting hot, it's getting hot, because the craft was burning up. <laughs> Turns out that her spacecraft caught on fire and she was frantically sending messages hoping someone would hear it and somehow help her. But the Soviet Union just sent her up there and left her to die. Now the Soviets denied this saying that it was an unmanned craft that burned. But the thing is, a lot of cosmonauts died during the space race and they refused to reveal a number of those deaths. Half the time they would just cover them up. So this recording could be real. And in our number one spot today, we have the final words. In 1967, Soviet test pilot, aerospace engineer, and cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov was sent into space on the Soyuz 1. However, the mission did not go according to plan and the spacecraft was extremely faulty. But Vladimir didn't really have a say in going on this mission. He kind of felt forced to do so. He said that if he didn't go, then the backup pilot would have had to go, which was his best friend. And he said he didn't want to do that to his friend, so he went and sacrificed his life instead. He knew the mission was going to fail, and he was right. Once he began to orbit Earth, a number of issues began to happen, such as the antennas not opening up properly. The worst came to him on his re-entry into Earth. On April 24th, 1967, during his re-entry, the parachutes failed to open. The signals he sent to Earth were haunting. On his way down, translators heard him say heat was rising in the capsule. He then began to curse the people who put him inside of this botched spaceship, saying they killed him. His final moments were him cursing and crying in rage. Imagine hearing that and listening to a man's final words. It's very haunting. At number 10 now, the sound of a black hole. Edward Morgan from MIT collected x-ray data on a distant black hole, then transmitted it into a sound that is audible to humans. The original of this is about a million billion times deeper than anything you could ever hear. The deepest note in the universe, in fact. But with a little bit of tweaking, here is a sound of an actual black hole, and it's terrifying. <laughs> Number nine, Proxima Centauri. The closest star to us, of course, other than our own sun, is Proxima Centauri. This star is 4.2 light years away, so whatever's sending this message, I don't think we're gonna get it. I don't think we got it soon enough. 
to be honest. I think we're a little late. There's one planet that orbits the star out of two, and it's likely similar to our own in its rocky nature. So maybe these are our cosmic neighbors, sending a few bleeps and or bloops to let us know that they're out there, right? Just being friendly. Or they're threatening us with said bleeps and bloops. One of the two. A graduate from the Pennsylvania State University and team member on the initial discovery, Sophia Sheik, they say, quote, it's pretty expected that every now and then you'll see something weird, but this is interesting because it's something that's weird and we're having to think about the next steps, end quote. Yeah, the next steps? Yeah, let's look into this, please. I'll keep my notifications on for the space stuff. Number eight, chime in. This next one comes from Canada. Ah, yes, I knew I recognized these bloops. Radio bursts, or FRBs, they've been hitting our planet for some time now, and the Chime Telescope has decided to, well, chime in. The first signal was detected back in 2007, and since then, whatever's sending this message just can't get enough of us lovely, friendly Canadians. And neither can you, apparently. Hit that thumbs up. We love you. One millisecond long signal is wonderful enough, but to have this anomaly repeat itself, well, that's when we Canadians start to overthink things. We've got some ET thoughts going on in our brains now. The repeated signal came again in 2015, and then again last January. Maybe it's Morse code. Just really slow Morse code. They're like, please help. Four billion years later, we're like, what was that? Number seven, Russian space signals. Last time I talked about the Russians on most amazing top 10, I mentioned their super deep borehole, which is fascinating and fun, I guess. Well, this time we're looking up to the skies. There we go, we're flipping it. Astronomers picked up the signal using Rattan 600 radio telescope, which is a large radio observatory in Southwest Russia. And it was the same idea. The signal was coming from a nearby star, specifically star HD 164595. It's the high definition star. We don't want that SD star. We can't see that one. That's the HD one. It's really hot. It's roughly 95 light years away from Earth. Again, it's far enough where we obviously don't need to worry about what's sending anything. But again, this star is known to have a planet near its orbit. That's why we have to at least think about it. Director for the Center of SETI Research advises all to curb their expectations. This planet is too close to that star to support life. So what's sending it? Some lava aliens? Number six, underwater TIE fighters. Okay, imagine you're scuba diving, right? Looking for a nice seashell for the wife, because that's what you do. And then you hear this underwater. Yeah, it's hard collecting seashells for the wife when you hear a TIE fighter below you. I don't know what this bit is with the seashell. I don't know, but I'm in it. What in the world is going on? What is that sound? It definitely had some people stumped for a while when it was first heard, but luckily this one has a fairly simple and harmless explanation. Yeah, this Star Wars sound is actually coming from dwarf mink whales. Yeah, they get a little deep blue Darth Vader down there. Apparently they have to fight back. Many strange ocean noises or space noises, any signal that we receive, ends up being attributed to whales or ice or planets. Considering how creepy these things sound, I'm glad that we got an actual answer. Or else, imagine not knowing what that was. I'd never go in the ocean again. I know what that was, and I'm still never going in the ocean again. So that's how much I don't like it. Number five, big boom. Turning the calendars back to May 2010 in Pennsylvania. Residents were enjoying their day when you guessed it, they heard this loud, Boom, something shocked them. It actually shook the residents, figuratively and literally. They were shook. Resident Kim Owen reported to the Sun Gazette news outlet that at first she didn't really think much about it. That's until a friend of hers who lives only a few blocks away posted on Facebook about said incident. And she's like, okay, I'm not crazy. I heard this too. The post was reaching out to others in the community asking if they too heard this loud boom. So far, the leading theory, believe it or not, is meteorites crashing into earth. The more plausible scenario is that these booms are caused by the high pressure gases being released from Earth's surface. Just mother nature, just farting, just letting it out. Number four, Saturn signals. We'll continue this list with an ocean signal out of this world. And I mean that in a literal sense. This one comes from Thanos' home planet, Titan. Titan is one of Saturn's many, many moons. It actually has 82 of them in total. So if you're a werewolf, avoid Saturn. You'll be really exhausted. Around 10 years ago, NASA's Cassini spacecraft detected water in its shell of ice. That's pretty exciting. And to quote a Cassini team member, the search for water is an important goal in our solar system exploration, and now we've spotted another place where it is abundant. Yeah, we love abundant ice on our planet where signals are coming from. That's great. Now I can't sleep. NASA has detected low frequency radio waves on Saturn's icy moon, and it sounds pretty eerie. To know that it's off planet entirely and it's underwater, that's like a double, that's like a double scary for me. I'm like, ooh, ooh, I can't watch that twice now. Number three, can't you hear me knocking? 
This knocking sound was picked up by an underwater hydrophone and like many others on this list, we had no idea what we were listening to for a very long time. We were all stumped by this. The ocean is already unexplored and freaky, so unexplained signals definitely aren't, you know, too soothing for the soul. You know, signals like this, for example. Before we talk about what this sound is coming from, imagine being in the deep, dark, icy waters and hearing that. That's what I'm talking about. This is something out of the quarry, okay? What is making that sound in there, my friend? These are some haunted waters. I'm gonna choose the other path. I'm not going there. But it turns out the real source isn't as scary as Megalodon. This is actually the sound of a species of haddock fish. Yeah, just a loud lunch down there. No biggie. These types of haddock are ray fin fish that can be found in the North Atlantic Ocean. The male of the species will produce this pulsating drum sound in order to attract a mate or a sandworm, I guess. It's a good Dune joke for all the... Watch Dune, if you haven't watched Dune. Yeah, this guy will just beatbox under a rock until he's married. That's the best. How great is that? Fish are awesome. Outside of the mating season, the same noise can be heard, but this time it's aggressive. It's for scaring away other fish. You know, a little different. He's like, hey. So for years, scientists had no idea this was a fish. They thought it was an alien or some type of space signal coming in. These could all be fish, who knows? I could do a follow-up and be like, hey, they were fish, they were all cod, we didn't know. Number two, the hum. This one creeps me out a lot. I think I've heard the hum, honestly. Maybe it was Kid Cudi in the distance, who knows? The hum has been heard for decades and we still have no idea where it's coming from. Our best guess is that it has something to do with, you guessed it, the ocean, as do many of these things, either off-world or on. A resident from Woodland, England spoke out on their experience saying that it vibrates through the house and we've turned all the electricity off in the house and we can still hear it. So it's not that. It's not tinnitus, that's the high-pitched sound and this is very low. If I put my fingers on my ears, it stops so I know it's not in my head. Side note, that's terrifying. Imagine seeing your family and they're all like plugging their ears. They're like, do you hear it? Hear what? What am I doing? What? It's commonly heard in Hawaii, Britain, North America, pretty much everywhere all over the world. We have no idea. Some have called it the Windsor Hum, which is insanely close to where I am right now. Don't stalk me. Hence why I think that I've heard it. So now I point the microphone to you for this one. Have you ever heard the hum? If so, where were you? Where do you live? <laughs> Reports of the hum go back to New Mexico as early as 1991, so I feel like it's not going anywhere soon if you haven't heard it for yourself. There it is again, I knew it. Maybe it's a B, who knows. And finally, number one, the boom. In early 2021, San Diego residents reacted to what sounded like a sonic boom, which is pretty alarming. S especially if you watch Top Gun Maverick, you're like, what is that? Well, it's been heard three times since the initial report, and many still have questions, obviously. Windows are shaking, doors were rattling, all of San Diego heard and felt this thing in their chest. It's like when you go to a concert and you can like feel it in your chest. It's kind of like that, except middle of the day when you don't want to feel things in your chest. But what was it? Was it an earthquake? Being in San Diego and all residents are used to earthquakes, but this was an entirely different feeling. Also, it helps to know that no earthquakes were reported at the time, so definitely can check that off our list. The Marines certainly didn't take responsibility for it, and if it wasn't sonic boom from a plane, then, well, what could it be? If it was a plane ripping overhead, it would be pretty obvious. Plus, they're not allowed to do that kind of stuff that close to the coast. So, again, check that off the list. December 28th, 2021, residents were posting their thoughts on Twitter, and one user tweeted, San Diego is cool, because I'm like, oh wow, I just felt an earthquake. But not actually, it was just a sonic boom. Starting off this countdown, we have the alien signal. Back in 2016, we received a signal from a nearby star, and some people believe that it was sent by aliens. So the star is in the constellation Hercules. It's about 95 light years away, which seems far because it is, but it's relatively close according to the universe's scale. Anyways, this star is said to have at least one planet and it's roughly the size of Neptune, and it's thought to have the right conditions to support life. So could this planet have life on it? Who knows? But let's talk about this signal. It was so strong that they believed it came from a Kardashev type two civilization. A type one civilization can use and store energy from a nearby star like us. Whereas type two can harness the energy from the entire star, meaning it makes that planet more advanced. So it may just be that the signal was sent from extremely advanced life forms. Coming at number nine, we have the lost 
cosmonaut. In 1961, two Italian brothers recorded a signal from space which they claimed was from a secret Soviet space mission. It sounded like a female cosmonaut who was in distress while trying to orbit the Earth. Something had apparently gone wrong, she was complaining of feeling hot as she burned up in the atmosphere. Now the Russians announced that an unmanned craft had burned up in the atmosphere and denied they had any knowledge of the lost cosmonaut. At the number 8 spot now we have Tabby's star. This mysterious star was discovered by amateur astronomers and found to be about 1400 light years from Earth. The strange thing was, the brightness of it would dip by 22% for days at a time. Some suggested it was a Dyson sphere, a theoretical alien structure that would enclose a whole star to harvest all of its power. For many years it's been just a sci-fi idea, but Tabby's star seemed to fit this theory very well. At the time of recording, scientists are still carrying out further the studies. Coming in at number 7 now we have 234 stars. In 2016 Canadian astronomers found something very strange within the Milky Way, 234 stars that were blinking at exactly the same rate. Eric Trottier, the astronomer who found this, proposed that the signal was just too much of a coincidence. He thought it was of alien origin. He said that the pulsating signals were caused by an alien civilization flashing a laser in our direction, causing a faint but detectable blip in the their stars light. The stars could even be 234 different civilizations pulling together to try and contact us. Moving on to number 6 now we have the sound of Saturn. In 2002 the Cassini spacecraft passed by the gas giant of Saturn. It listened to the planet's aurora caused by its huge magnetic field. The signal was way out of human hearing so they slowed it right down, they compressed it and this is what they heard. Alright, moving on to number 5 now, we have the Lorimerverse. This signal was detected in 2007 after astronomers dug through 6 years of previous data. Then they found it. It was a very brief burst of radio emission, just 5 milliseconds in total. The area it came from was 5 to 11 billion light years away from Earth. This means that when a signal left its origin, Earth hadn't even been formed yet, which is mind blowing. Scientists were shocked to find that whatever made this signal released more energy in that short burst than the sun does in 4 months. Moving on to number 4 now, we have this. It's a very weird name, but it has an incredible story behind it. Scientists detected this signal from an empty area of space with no stars or planet systems near it for about a thousand light years from an area between the constellations of Pisces and Aries and yet a signal came. It was detected as being a short burst at about 1420 megahertz. That's one of the main frequencies at which hydrogen, the most common element in the universe, absorbs and emits energy. Scientists have often thought of using this to contact any aliens out there and so when we received it, it's drawn a lot of attention. Coming at number 3 now, we have frequency 4462.3. This signal came from a star only 100 light years from us, and it was a star quite similar to our own. It's called TYC1220911, and it was nothing out of the ordinary until it did something. The noise it made was just 10 seconds long, but now that it's been adjusted so we can hear it, it's very scary and creepy. Tell me what you think of it. At number 2 we have the Cosmic Roar. In 2006 a group of California astronomers were trying to detect the very first stars in the universe. Instead they heard a radio wave roar. What they heard was 6 times louder than the faint signal they expected to detect. In fact this roar was 6 times greater than the combined emission of all known radio wave sources. And this wasn't the sound of the Big Bang, it was the sound of something mysterious from the star of the universe, something more intense than we've ever encountered. Counted. And finally now at number 1 we have the wow signal. What else could it be really? In 1977 Ohio State University's big ear radio telescope detected the strangest signal ever heard from space. It came from the Sagittarius constellation and many scientists thought that it sounded 
like it could be of extraterrestrial origin. It lasted for 72 seconds and then it was never heard of again. The astronomer who found the signal was so shocked by it that they wrote wow in the margin giving us its name. Now it's been adjusted like some of the other ones so that we can hear it and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> 